I'm Tamara Holder, and this is Sports Court. So did you put money on the NCAA men's basketball tournament? Odds are, if you did, you didn't bet nearly as much as this guy. One million dollars. Yes, that's how much Derek Stevens bet on underdog Michigan State to win it all. So joining me now to discuss is Rick Unger, political senior political columnist for Forbes and co-host of Steel and Unger on XM Sirius Radio, and the Greek goddess of comedy herself, Ellen Karras. Welcome. Thank you. So Always Rick, good to be with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much. So, Rick, have you ever placed a a million dollar bet? No. No. And I can state fairly confidently I never will. Ellen, have you? No. No. Does the, the slot machines, that doesn't count? <laughs> no, yeah. no. Okay. No. So, but let's talk about this exact bet. This was when Michigan State was, was not really favored. It was, he placed it back in December. And not only did he place the bet, but he got his boss to put down the $20,000 for him. Right. What do you think of this? Does this, does this send the wrong message to, to bosses and employees? There's no message here. The, the only message is, is that if it pays off, if Michigan State wins, and I think that they're probably in pretty good shape here, I don't think Michigan State's going to win, but that the, the house that took the bet, they got a problem. They should have thought about this. Because I think from what I've read about this, this is a big amount of money for uh, the betting parlor. Right, right. And Alice, the betting parlor did say that they've never had a bet this big. A million dollars is going to be a lot to fork over. Yeah. What do you think about this whole betting issue as a whole? Should it be legal? Should it be illegal? Listen, in the scheme of life, this is like the least of our worries, I think. It's been going on for a long time. I mean, it's very sad that obviously there are people that have huge betting addictions and they ruin their lives and other people's lives. But, you know, that's not what it was set up for. It's a great source of revenue. People find it to be a lot of fun. It's a recreational activity. I mean, I had an aunt that used to go to Atlantic City all the time. You know, it's people like to do it. As long and it's as a it's a business legal, activity. It's, and this, this it, was it's, a perfectly it's legal fascinating. Right. Oh, yes. This, this one was. was. Yeah. And you know what? The addictions, people have eating addictions. We don't ban food. There's all kinds of addictions but, out there. But, people have sexual addictions. We don't ban sex. Right. Although I'm off Thank a, goodness, not me, of course. I'm off a of chocolate for Lent. I just want you to <laughs> so, what you, so let's talk about, let's talk about the predictions. Let's, there's a lot of money out there. You talked about the legal sports books. Vegas, everybody has a bet. Everybody has a prediction. Who do you bet on, on both games? What do you think? What do you mean but on... So we have we have uh, Wisconsin yeah, and, and Kentucky. Kentucky. I have Wisconsin. You have Wisconsin over I, undefeated I have, Kentucky. I have Wisconsin okay. winning the whole thing. Ellen? Uh, Kentucky. Why? Just because I, they're undefeated and they lost yeah, last yeah, year? Yeah, there's a lot of jazz there. There's a lot of energy. They didn't have the schedule. I just, uh, I, I like my them. problem. They didn't have the schedule that it's really tested them. And you saw what happened with Notre Dame. Notre Dame, obviously, they were only lost by two points. Could have beaten them. Yeah. Wisconsin, I think right now is playing better than any team in the nation. I thought they were great and De Decker was an amazing yeah. was an amazing phenom. But then let's talk about the other bet though, the the Michigan State and Duke. You said that Wisconsin is going to win. Will, yeah, Michigan State will lose to Duke. No, what I do you think, think Michigan State will win. Yeah. All right, yeah. so so this boss is about 20 grand out. <laughs> this, I think I think they're at 20 grand. I don't yeah. think Michigan State will get there. All right, well, thank you all for watching. We'll see who wins in the final four. Sports court is adjourned.